day, ladies and gentlemen, little sisters and brothers. Allow me to ask you a question, gentle strangers. When you read Psalms chapter 19, verse 12 through 13 in the Septuagint, you know, quote, here's a question. It starts off with a question. Who will understand his transgressions? With an S. Purge thou me from my secret sins. Listen up. And spare thy servant the attack of strangers. If they do not gain the dominion over me, then shall I be blameless, and I shall be clear from great sin. Well, when you hear that, what do you perceive? Who, me? Let's read it again. I'll tell you what I perceive. First, the question. Who will understand his transgressions? Purge thou me from my secret sins, with an S, which can only mean deceitful, hidden transgressions. And we don't understand what they are. Listen up. Listen closely. Quote, And spare thy servant, servant the attack of strangers. Singular attack by multiple strangers. Listen closely. If they, strangers attack, do not gain the dominion over me, that means that singular attack of the strangers, then shall I be blameless, huh? And I shall be clear from great sin. Well, to me, this can only mean those that teach and lead the remnant of Israel today are beguiling each and every one of us to commit great sin unawares through the use of witchcraft and sorceries. Yep. Question. Remember during a recent video about witchcraft, I had to stop mid-sentence and I said, I think I see something? You remember when we were reading from Wikipedia under Sigil, subtitle Chaos Magic. When it said, quote, in modern chaos magic, when a complex of thoughts, desires, and intentions gain such a level of sophistication that it appears to operate autonomously from the magician's consciousness, listen closely, as if it were an independent being, then such a complex is referred to as a subvertor. When such a being becomes large enough that it exists independently of any one individual as a form of group mind, then it is referred to as a egregor. Example. You remember that? <laughs> wow, yeah. Well, not only did Miss Caribbean hear something, the research team of Irish and Leslie heard it as well and did their own research on the matter to find something. Wow! Did you hear that? So little Miss Ivy and I did our own research and found something amazing as well. Check out what they found. According to Wikipedia under, Servitor, S-E-R-V-I-T-O-R. -E Subtitle, Chaos Magic. Quote, Within chaos magic, a saboteur is a psychological complex deliberately created by the magician for a specific purpose that appears to operate autonomously from the magician's conscious, i.e. as if it were an independent existing being. Example. All right, we read that. Remember the Abraham Hicks self-help law of attraction inspiration discovery not too long ago? You remember when we discovered the creator of this phenomenon admitted to receiving her message from a cabal of metaphysical entities that call themselves Abraham? Well, it appears you manifest them with your devotion to their self-help disciplines. If you still don't believe me on this, check this out. 
according to Wikipedia under Egregore. E G R E G O R E. Quote An egregore is an occult concept representing a thought form or collective group mind, an aut autonomous psychic entity made up of and influencing the thoughts of a group of people. Example Bingo. This is the real reason the watchman is asking you to plug in to his prayer conduit connected to his spirit guide. You know, the spirit even he told us calls him son of man when speaking through meditation. Now wait a minute, hold it right there before you curl your lips up in disapproval of me talking about your beloved watchman. According to Wikipedia under, Thought form. Subtitle, created by meditation. Quote, come on now. Oh, here we go. I done start talking about the watchman. Now my computer messing up. Hold up. Now we're going to hold. There we go. Cutting to the chase. Quote, the description of the event depicted in the book as well with its conjunction of meditation and idealism. This thought form was personal quote, generated by one who was trying, while sitting in meditation, to fill his mind with an aspiration to unfold all mankind in order to draw them upward towards the high idea which shone so clearly before his eyes. End quote. The ability of the author to see the, personal quote, vibrations of ideas, emotions, and sounds, end quote, demonstrates in his opinion, personal quote, a sort of spiritual synthesis, which is anesthesia, synthesis and anesthesia together, which transforms the religious act into a neurological phenomenon. Example, bingo. This is what the watchman is trying to get you to buy into unawares. He is trying to invoke his spirit guide, plain and simple, people. Think about it through the scriptures. There is nothing new under the sun, right? Well, didn't we already discover how the Gentiles of antiquity were openly guided by their demion? <laughs> well, what's the difference? And to give you a little bit more history behind who his spirit guide, the Abraham Hicks, etc. are, let's continue with the Wikipedia article under Egregore, the E-G-R-E-G-O-R-E, -E -E, but this time under the subtitle, History, I'm cutting to the chase. Quote, however, the word is the normal form that the Greek word watcher would take in French. This was the term used in the book of Enoch for the great angel-like spirits. Eliphas Levi in La Grande Ukraine, which is the great mystery, in 1868, identifies the Igrigors with the tradition concerning the Watchers, the fathers of the Nephilim, describing them as terrible beings that, personal quote, crush us without pity because they are unaware of our existence. Example, bingo. As we all already suspected, and as the scriptures attest, the spirits will have their way upon the earth in the end dispensation, people. This brings me to an earlier Irish Leslie scripture donation that I've wondered about all this time. Now we may be able to understand it. Please turn to 